October is fast approaching, which means it's time to take a look ahead at what we can expect from the channel in October in terms of film reviews. So October, just looking quickly ahead, looks to be a very interesting month with a lot of good, interesting and decent films, which is good because September was kind of a dead month, not going to lie, uh, not a lot came out. So I'm very excited to discuss with you guys what you can expect from me in October, so let's start off with the first film. First up, we have Blade Runner 2049. Now, I am so excited for this. I think this is my most anticipated movie of the month, and it comes out straight away. Um, this is obviously the long-awaited sequel to Blade Runner, which is a movie I haven't actually seen. I do own it on Blu-ray. I'm going to watch it the night before I watch this. Um, but I think the cast is brilliant. I'm so excited about the director. It's the same director as Arrival. And the soundtrack, the score, oh my god, it's so creepy, but so cool at the same time. Very, very excited. Then we have The Mountain Between Us, which is a, some, a movie that I think really intrigues me. It's a movie just about pure survival. You have Idris Elba and Kate Winslet, who were on a plane that crashes in the middle of this snowy mountainous area, and they have to survive just based off of trusting each other. And they're basically strangers, and that's a really cool concept. And I really like survival movies. I think they're quite intense, they're quite fun, and this seems to be like that's what it's going to be. So, yeah, definitely looking forward to this, and it's going to be something a bit different. Now, the inner child inside of me still loves Lego. I still occasionally pick up a Lego set here or there, and I love the Lego movies. The Lego movie was brilliant. The Lego Batman movie was just incredible. And as a kid, I used to love the Lego Ninjago set, so I am actually pretty looking forward to this. I do think the trailer is really funny. The cast looks great, especially Kamal Ninjani as Jay. I think that's going to be great. Um, yeah, I'm actually really looking forward to this. Even though the reviews haven't been great, I'm still positive. Following on from that, we have The Snowman. Now, The Snowman looks like a very interesting murder mystery style film, which I love. And it's also got a lot of horror aspects into it, which I think are going to be really enjoyable. It's also got Michael Fassbender in the lead, Rebecca Ferguson, who I really like. She isn't in a lot of films, but I really loved her in Mission Impossible 5 and Life. Really good in both of those films. And also it's got J.K. Simmons in it, which is just amazing. Um, I think this film looks very interesting, a very cool concept indeed. So definitely looking forward to this one. Next up, we have The Ritual. Now, The Ritual is a very interesting looking horror film that I think I would actually be quite interested in. It's about these four or five guys, uh, British guys, who go off on this holiday in the middle of these woods, and it's, you know, it doesn't go quite to plan. Um, I think it looks really funny, though. I mean, the comedy it has a lot of comedy in the trailer, especially one line where they all enter a house and one of them says, This is definitely the house we get murdered in. Because it's kind of like a breaking of the fourth wall almost, like taking the mick out of the genre. So I think it works really well, so yeah. Then we have Geostorm, which is a movie that I don't think looks very good. I mean, the first trailer, which is the one you're seeing now, looked actually kind of decent. It's a very dark tra trailer with, you know, What a Wonderful World kind of remixed. But then the next trailer that came out after this was really happy and kind of over the top. So I don't quite know what vibe they're going for with this film. But it still looks kind of interesting to me. I do like the concept. So I'll give it a go, I suppose. Furthermore, we have The Death of Stalin, which when I first heard of this movie and first saw the trailer, I thought, oh, this is going to be a really serious documentary-style movie, which sort of would really intrigue me. But then the trailer was really funny. This is actually a comedy, and I think it looks hilarious. Like, this is such a good idea. As someone who studied this for a few years of their life, I'm actually quite interested in it. And also, I just think the movie looks really funny. It's got a really fantastic comedic cast, and it's something different that I think is going to be something completely unique. So, very excited. Then we have Marshall, which is uh, a law movie about this lawyer, uh, a black lawyer, who basically did a lot for the black community in his career. Stars Chadwick Boseman, who I am such a huge fan of, not just because he is, of course, Black Panther in the Marvel films, but also the fact he played James Brown, the legendary Motown singer in the film Get On Up. Um, so if this is going to be another one of those true story movies like Get On Up, then I am definitely up for it. I think Chadwick Boseman is such a good actor, very charismatic, actually. So I'm very excited for this. And then we have Breathe, which is a, another true story about, I don't actually fully understand the story, it's basically about a man, a uh, true story, who had a paralysis incident, and then his wife just did all she could to take care of him, and it ended up saving his life. And it, of course, stars Andrew Garfield, who I love after Hacksaw Ridge, and also, I mean, I loved him after the Spider-Man films, but even more so after Hacksaw Ridge, and he, after Hacksaw Ridge, I can see that he can nail these true story roles. So, definitely interested to see this one indeed. 
And finally, we have Thor Ragnarok, which is the next Marvel movie, and it's the final MCU film for 2017. This looks brilliant. I mean, the first two Thor movies are kind of hit or miss for me. I think the first one's good, and then the second one, not so much. But this just looks fantastic. It's got an amazing director behind it with Taika Waititi. It's also just got a fantastic cast. The Hulk is teaming up with Thor in this movie. The vibe looks very Guardians-esque. They've got a very 80s theme going. I think this has the potential to be one of the best. So there we have it, guys. They were all the films coming out in October 2017 here in the UK that you can expect from me at the channel. As always, you can always expect additions and maybe subtractions from this list, depending on what happens. And Because the, the problem is, with my local cinema, sometimes it's not a big branch, so it doesn't show some films sometimes. So if I ever say I'm watching a film and then I don't, it means that my local cinema probably isn't showing it. So sorry about that, guys. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and stay tuned for the channel for all these reviews if I can.